So welcome to this restorative exercise session. This is a short follow along video um, which you can do at any time of the day. Uh, it's especially effective in the morning and before bed. And it can also done, be done before any other exercise. The techniques are designed to relax and de-stress the muscles in and around the hips and the spine. So although it feels like we're not doing too much at the time, the net effect afterwards is quite deep. So follow along, don't push it too hard because it is a less is more routine. If you need extra assistance or instructions for the precise techniques, then go back to these videos up here somewhere and have a look at the how to's. For now though, find yourself something comfortable to wear, find yourself a little comfortable spot and let's get cracking. So we, you can do this in the chair, but we're gonna start on our backs, okay? And we're gonna be laying on our back with our heels quite close to our glutes or our backside. And this is gonna enable us to keep a nice neutral spine. So we don't want to be too arched or too flat in this position. We're going to do four moves on the hips, followed by four for the spine. We're going to start with the ankle over the knee. Now just allow that to rest there. And the movement is knee to opposite shoulder but we're just gonna block that with our hand so we can build some tension up in the muscle without the muscle moving. And we're gonna time this with our breath. So we engage the muscle by pushing the knee into the hand. And we're gonna take two or three nice deep breaths in and out. Second move, placing the hand behind the knee and pushing the knee into the hand. Two or three breaths. Now changing position, hand on the front of the knee and foot pushing in this direction. Relax the hip joint, relax the knee, and slowly add some tension. Pushing the foot away. And the last one, Lifting the knee up into the hand. So the movement is coming this way, the hand is blocking. same on the other leg. Ankle over knee, allow the hip to relax, allow the knee to relax and onto knee and we're generating that energy coming this way. Two deep breaths, two or three and noticing sensation in and around the pocket of the hip. Just a light contraction, no more than 20 to 30% and release. Hand over the knee, knee now pushing outwards into the hand. Similar area for the sensation, the outside and the pocket of the hip. Number 
three, pushing the knee and the foot that way. You can straighten this bottom leg out and just contracting. This one we are feeling in and around the back. A couple of nice deep breaths. And then changing, bringing this foot back up and pushing into the hands from there. This is focusing more on the top side of the hip or the thigh. Again, this is all 20 to 30% and release. That's one round. We're gonna start with a couple of the spinal moves. We're gonna start using the hips creating a little arch in our back and we're going to flatten that arch out literally just by tilting the hips up and tilting the hips back rotating the pelvis forward rotating the pelvis back hips don't leave the ground there's no extra weight going through the feet just a gentle rotation Making this gap under the back, making it nice and big, and then just flattening it out. This is a very subtle but satisfying sensation in the area of the back of the pelvis and the lower back. If there's any pain, stop this exercise. Just breathe rotate very gently. Okay, and feet, ankles together, knees together, elbows out to the side for stability. This is a very gentle, easy knee roll from side to side. In this motion, simply 11 o'clock to one o'clock. We're not dropping all the way down on these, we're just staying in this nice comfortable range, keeping the ankles glued together, keeping the knees glued together. Using the lower body as a bracket to rotate the spine. That's why we wanna keep this fixed. If you notice your knees are slipping, then you're going too far. So just keep those knees joined together. Gentle rotations to the side. Last couple. Okay. Upper back spinal rotation. So thoracic spine rotation. Straight arms, straight wrists, hands interlocking. You can lift your shoulders slightly off the ground. You can keep your head down on the ground or you can prop it up on something like a block and we're just going to rotate the upper back it's just like a pendulum on a clock keep those elbows straight keep the fingers interlocked nice gentle relaxation of the upper back Four or so. Okay, good stuff, and just relax back down. So, back to the start. Ankle over knee. And just pushing that knee toward this shoulder. Nice and gentle, just 20, 30% maximum. Sensation in and around this area here. Nice, deep, relaxing breaths. Pushing into the hand. 
again, sensation in and around back corner of the hip. We keep these nice and soft and change. If you want to straighten that leg out, and we're pushing this way with our knee and foot. Area of interest is the back of the thigh and the glute area. As I was saying, we keep these nice and gentle because we want them to be precise. Changing, lifting the knee up into the hand. deep breaths allow us to relax deeper into this routine. And relax that leg to the floor. Change sides. Engaging hand, knee into hand. And if you feel like it, you can even push this ankle into that knee as well. together, just start with the smallest of rotations from side to side, and then build on that. Remember less is more. The more we strain and strive in this routine, the more we'll miss the subtleties. breath as a barometer to let you know how hard you're pushing. If you can't keep a nice, even, gentle breath, then you're probably pushing too hard for this particular routine. Lovely. Now widen that stance slightly. Hands up if you need to just block under your head or a cushion, straight arms, upper back massage. area of 
focus here is that bit in between the shoulder blades up where the spine passes through the shoulder blades. Beautiful. Remove the block. Last one we're going to do, just coming up gently to our seat again. Now this one, be as gentle as you need to be. This should be very relaxing. Just going to start by looking up and gradually just dropping our chin to our chest and rolling forward until we feel a little tingle or stretch and then coming back up so we're looking at the area anywhere from the neck down basically could be all the way down to the heels just a very gentle forward bend this isn't about how far you can go it's which sensation can you pick up? How much subtlety can you pick up? This is a mobility exercise, so we're working by moving, not by overstretching or straining. You'll find over time, even rep by rep, that the body's gonna give you a little bit more freedom, a little bit more movement. If there's nothing there, try bringing the toes up toward the shin. And trying that again, that really intensifies it for me up the back of the legs. session you can repeat that as many times as you want and go through the whole thing break it up into parts and just do the hips just do the spine do whatever suits you and the time frame that you have as I said there are more videos from previous workshop so you can find them on my channel somewhere maybe here or something okay thank you for joining me and have a great rest of your day